And here goes the chaos. Start spinning. I'm assuming they hit the top. Loss of tail rotor effectiveness. How long has it been since you've reviewed this? This gets helicopter pilots in trouble. We're gonna play another video from the Coffee with Kenny series that people really enjoyed. And we're gonna roll one on LTE. And before we get to that on the LTE, we wanna tell you about the Hogs Memorial Day sale. Ends Monday night Memorial Day at midnight. Our monthly is normally at 97 bucks. 48.50 as long as you keep the course. Our yearly options, normally 697, on sale right now, 34850. Then we have a private pilot lifetime, normally 997, on sale for $498.50. And then the big one, Pro Pilot, where you get private commercial instrument CFI unlimited access, normally 2800, that is on sale now until Monday night for $1400. And you can get those discounts when you go check out at helicopterground.com in the coupon box type memorial 50 and you'll see the discounted price so let's get to that video and review lte all right day 260 coffee with kenny welcome had some great response to yesterday gonna do some more accident review today we're gonna review some loss of tail rotor effectiveness videos and I'll put the links down below for the channels or the creators of these videos or where I found these videos anyway. And uh, I don't know why. So I want to bring forth the, you know, for the, maybe those of you that are new and haven't heard of loss of tail rotor effectiveness or LTE, or maybe a review for those of you that just haven't thought about it in a while, right? It's something that we all got to be thinking about and using good pilot technique to make sure that we avoid it, number one, and know what to do in the event it ever happened to us. All right, so here goes the first one. And when you see it happen, it's, it's really kind of like, you know, you're going, it's such a helpless feeling to watch a video like this. And of course I have the volume turned down and always in the background, people are happy that the helicopter's landing. And on most of these videos, you hear people screaming and shrieking. So here's a guy, it doesn't look too bad, right? But I have no idea where the wind is. So the approach doesn't look so bad. Nothing looks too crazy. He is pretty getting, getting slow, but if he's into the wind, it wouldn't, wouldn't be a problem. And then all of a sudden, there he is really, really slow, and then there it goes. And it just starts going. Spinning out of control. Can't tell you what wants to happen. It goes down between the trees, so you don't actually see the crash. But I just want to make the point that, boom, look at the damage. I have no idea if anybody was hurt or not in this. So again, these links will be down below if you want to check these videos out a little further and more in depth. All right, here we go. So we don't see what really happens before. You just see what's going on. And look how kind of, it's like, I don't know what's going on there. Again, I'm assuming it's LTE. Look at the carnage. And sometimes these things catch and explode after, you know, the fact. So this is the thing you got to be thinking about. LTE is not dangerous just to us as pilots. It's dangerous to anybody that's around us. Here we go. Maybe it gives you a little bit more. I don't understand this where it starts to drop, like it's maybe getting under control, and then boom. So not really sure what's going on there. And one more. Bell coming in, nice and slow. Again, I have no idea of the conditions. He must be got one of those quartering winds. Approach doesn't look bad. Getting close to the ground. And here we go. And how quickly it just starts to spin and just gets crazy. Boom. Aircraft destroyed. All right, now we got one more. And this is from a police helicopter. And our operations manager, Brian Rutledge, actually sent this to me a while back. And I came across this today. And coming up here pretty soon, a minute and 30 seconds, I think, is where you see the LTE happen. So you're going to get a view of what it looks like inside the helicopter as they get into LTE. And this is a pretty long video. So again, I'll put the link down below if you want to check it out. It's like 35 minutes long. They show a lot of damage to the aircraft at the end of the video. But I really want to show this one because I wanted you to see what it, the chaos inside and kind of what it looks like. All right, it's about to happen. We're getting down close to the mountaintop that they're apparently trying to, landing, trying to land on. And here goes the chaos. Start spinning. I'm assuming they hit the top. And then they apparently pick back up. It looks like he's still moving. 
So he flies away from it. So let's fast forward to the end of the video so you can see the damage. So at least everybody was okay, it looks like. You can see they're sitting on a crate. And there you can see some of the damage and the carnage. Look at that landing gear all mangled up. Hey, at least nobody was hurt apparently. Or it doesn't look like it anyway. Well, I hope that's a little bit of an eye-opener. Again, if you're brand new to this, you may have never seen this. But even if you're an experienced pilot, I can remember back when I started training, there was a video out there. I forget who put it out, but it was many years ago. And they went around interviewing helicopter pilots, but just randomly asking, asking them, what is LTE? And they would spit and sputter, and it was pretty amazing. And they were making the point that how many pilots that were out there flying and were current they couldn't even get a good, give a good definition of LTE when asked. You know, it's like helicopter land ground school. We were approached by the FAA to use our training for some remedial training. And they were talking about a guy who uh, had a dynamic rollover accident. When they interviewed him after the accident, he couldn't remember the basics, basic elements of dynamic rollover and how to stay out of it, and how to avoid it. So we'd all like to think that our knowledge is fresh all the time. But if you don't consistently review, at least, you know, if you're a current pilot, once every few months, once every year or two, I will tell you there are, I've witnessed it, and I'll have plenty of people that back me up, and it happens in law enforcement, happens in EMS, and I'm sure it happens everywhere else too, where pilots get laxed. Oh, I've already passed my rating, I don't need to study anymore. I don't need to look at anything up. I have my ratings. Well, if your memory is that great that you can always keep track of all this stuff in your mind, then great. But I know I can't do it. I consider myself kind of an average Joe and I know I have to go back and refresh now and then. And it just feels good, right? It goes back. It's nice to go back and refresh these different things that can get us into trouble and get us killed. So hope that got you thinking about LTE. We have tons of LTE videos even here on YouTube, and we've got LTE, of course, within our Helicopter Land Ground School course. I am Kenny Keller, creator of Helicopter Land Ground School. So go down below, helicopterground.com, you can take our courses for, pri uh, for a 24-hour test flight on a monthly option on, all, on any of them, private, commercial, CFI, instrument. You can take any of those courses for a 24-hour free test flight. We're always happy to answer your questions about Helicopter Land Ground School. Thinking back to where we started and where we are now, and it's just having a freaking blast. So do us a favor, subscribe to the channel, click the bell when you do, leave us a comment down below. When you feel the pressure to fly, but know the right decision is to stay on the ground, hit the hogs, no go, and live to fly another day. Helicopterground.com